Hello everyone and welcome to the One Man Renegade Podcast YouTube channel. I am your host, the Honorable Greg B, and we are doing part two today of the April 2020 jampacks.net old school jam pack. We still have a number of uh packs to go through, and we also have this uh gold pack that's not a gold pack, but they ran out of gold packs, it's envelopes, it's fine. It's fine, but there's definitely um some goodness in here because there's gonna be a Hall of Famer, All Star. A Hall of Famer autograph and a Hall of Famer rookie card in there, so we'll check that out. But if you did miss part one, go up there and hit that little button and go check it out, and then come back and watch this one. And while you're at it, might as well go down there and hit that subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell. Also share, like, and all that fun stuff. Um, if for some reason you don't like it, I guess you can give a thumbs down and say you don't like it. But if you do do that, if you do hit the thumbs down button, go down in the comments down below and let, tell me what you think why do you didn't like this video and then tell me what I can do better or something or whatever. But if you did like it and maybe tell me what you liked about the video, maybe it was a card you liked that I pulled, maybe you remember opening some of these packs back in the day or whatever, just leave a comment and let me know. And while you're headed down there, you can also um, hit the, hit, check out some of the links I have for my blog, my podcast, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Also, there's a link in there if you want to get one of these mats that's in the background here for yourself. I know it's covered up by a bunch of stuff, so but trust me, it's there. Um, and uh, yeah, all that fun stuff and share it with everyone and tell everyone you know about this channel. But let's get started. Uh, we'll rip open some of these packs and see if we can find any goodness. Uh, we'll, we'll try to do this chronologi tr chronologically. Um, so 90, 90... 91, 92, 94. Okay, so we'll start off with this 1986 Topps Rack Pack. See what we can find in here. Um, only big rookie. Cecil Field is the only real big rookie I can think of out of out of uh, out of Topps. Um, 86. Um, can't think of anyone really else that's big. But you know, we got second year cards of Clemens and Puckett and. You know, I got Hall of Famers and stuff, so we'll look for... And if I can, I can actually open this, that'd be cool, too. Uh, I got the scissors out. Always annoying. Rack packs. All right, there we go. The first part. And get the second part. And then we get the third part. And I'll, I'll, as always, with the uh, rack packs from the 80s, the top I was doing the All-Star card. We got the National League All-Star team, so... Nothing really cool about that, I guess. I don't know. Would have rather had like a Cal Ripken or a Nolan Ryan or something. Um, but, um, oh well, you can't win them all. And if you did win them all, it would get boring. Um, all right. So, uh, like I said, as for mentioned before, and '86 is a little annoying for tops because the cards go back and forth. I like the design, but the way they packed. Every, way they packed the cards in is a bit annoying to scroll through. But we got the um, ninety. Uh, 85 All-Star team in the National League. Uh, then we got Mike Filsch, Fishlin, Rich Thompson, Jesse Barfield, Tim Flannerty. We got Bob Kearney, Chet Lemon, Lynn Jones, Tim Tufel, uh, Mike Pagulario, or however you say it. I apologize for some of these pronunciations. Julio Cruz, uh, Mickey Tettleton, Back when he was on the A's. Tony Perez. Uh, Bud Black. Tony Perez, he's a Hall of Famer, right? I believe. All right, I'll put him in the Hall of... He is, right? Or am I, am I wrong about that? No, I think he is. Glenn Hubbard. Uh, John Franco. Um, Mark uh, Bruhard. Sammy Khalifa. Then we got Ray Fon Fontanot. Daryl Miller. Billy Hatcher. Randy Bush, Richard Dodson, Oral Hershiser. Ooh, Nolan Ryan. There's a good one. Um, Hall of Famer, obviously. Uh, Ray Miller, Luis Sanchez, Ron Say, Butch Weiniger, Jim Clancy, Bob Lillis, Mario Ramirez, Tony Armas, Jim Presley, Len Matzuzek, Joe Beckwith, Ryan Tayet, Storm Davis, Bill Kruger, Willie Randolph, Larry Anderson, Sid Bream, Rick Show, Tom Lawless, 
George Bell, back when he spelled it with the J instead of the G-E. Yeah. Mike Lacrosse, Donnie Schultz, Brian Fisher, Kurt Tempshire, and Bob Gritch. So, Nolan Ryan was definitely the best card of that bunch, for sure. But now we move on to 86 Fleer. Uh, definitely looking for the Jose Canseco. He was... He was in the Fleer and Dono sets. He was not in the top set. He ended up being in the uh, traded set, but it wasn't in the regular set. We got the Orioles sticker of Vaughn Hayes, Brett Saberhagen, Mookie Wilson, Steve Braun, Steve Bushell, Jeff Reardon, Julio Franco, Joe Hesketh, uh, Daryl Soniers, Eric er sorry, Ernie Witt, Candy Maldonado, Dave Steeb, Mike Sosha, Jim Pakovitz and George Foster. So nothing too great out of that pack. So now we're going on to 88 Fleer. We're looking for um, uh, Edgar Martinez, John Glavin, uh, Tom Glavin, John Glavin. Who else? John Glavin. Uh, and some other guys. <laughs> uh, Padres uh, thingy. Uh, Bruce Hurst, Herm Winningham, Eddie Williams, Sean Dunstan, Carlton Fisk, Hall of Famer, uh, Sean Hillegas. Then we got uh, Mark McGuire and Pat Tabler. Big bats at first. Mark McGuire, obviously a huge star. Then we got Zane Smith, Mark Williamson, Alan Ashby, Jim Presley. Then we got a uh, Joey Meyer and, and Jim Eppert prospects. Eric King, Gus Polidor, and Larry Parrish. So nothing too great out of that, unfortunately. All right, moving on to 89 uh, Bowman. Looking for uh, Ken Griffey Jr. and Gary Sheffield. I don't, can't remember if Biggio and Randy Johnson are in this. I think they might not be, or they might be, or one of them might be. I don't know. We got Duke Schneider uh, reprint card. Um, obviously, these are annoying because they don't have the names. They just have the, but Tim Burke, Jerry Roos, um, Tim Belcher, Harold Baines, checklist card, Dave Carmen. Um, Mike Marshall, Bob Walk, Chris Bossio, uh, Stan Jefferson. We got Tony Gwynn, Hall of Famer, and finishing things up with Mark Mark Portugal. So struck out again on the Griffey. No big surprise, but uh, we got move on to ninety score. Frank Thomas, we're looking for Sosa. I think is in the set. Larry Walker. We're starting off with Shane Raleigh. Cecil Espy, Bip Roberts, Teddy Hygia, got one of these things, Mike Scott, French Dream Team card, ODB McDowell, I always messed it up, Bob Guerin, uh, Daryl Boston, Rene Gonzalez, Tony Pena, Bill Kruger, Greg Walker, not the Walker we were looking for, Glenn Wilson, Dave Justice, so oh, that's his rookie card, okay, uh, Terry Jorgensen, and then we get Ken Griffey Jr. a year late, but this is his first regular set scorecard, so that's cool, I guess, right? Sure. All right, we move on to 90 tops. Obviously, we're looking for the Frank Thomas, no name on front, but that's good. The odds of finding that are pretty ridiculous, but Frank Thomas, Sammy Sosa, uh, Bernie Williams, uh, Larry Walker, and all the other Hall of Famers and stars from that era. Start off with the Spring Fever card. Then we got Jim Acker, Jesse Orozco, Ed Whited, Sergio Valdez, Mike Smith, Lank Blanksomship, John Dobson, Kirby Puckett, All-Star card. He's a Hall of Famer. Uh, Jeff Robinson, Mike Fitzgerald, Lee Gutterman, Jim DeShanes, Oda B. McDowell, these guys haunting me, Tom Bernanski, Howard Johnson, and Ron Kittle. So nothing crazy out of that. Now we're moving on to 91 uh, tops. Now this is one of the old school ones that are still the wax packy. They hadn't gone to the cello packy yet. Um, don't know if that means anything specific, but it's just interesting to note. They switched up partway through the year, I think. I don't know. I don't know exactly how they did it, but whatever. But we're looking for Chipper Jones. Um, he's the only real notable rookie I can think of. Junior Ortiz, uh, Ray Palacios, Danny Tartable, Milt Thompson, Tim Belcher, Gary Carter, Hall of Famer, 
Damon Berryhill, Gary Green, Barry Larkin Hall of Famer All-Star card, uh, Glenn Braggs, Tommy Gregg, Craig Litton, Jeff Montgomery, Mark Newfeld, and Ron Darling. All right, moving on to 92, uh, Series 2 Pinnacle. Not sure what series Manny was in. I know I pulled it before. I can't remember if that was Series 1 or Series 2. But, all right, we'll go through it. Uh, we got this Rod Carew Idols card. That's cool, I guess. Uh, then we got Chris uh, Gardner. It's a cool Ricky Henderson card. Uh, Brian Williams. Cards are sticking together a little bit. Brian Jordan. Sandy Alomar Jr. Jo Jay Howell. Carlos Hernandez. Uh, Jeff Johnson. Reggie Jefferson. Don Slott. Ron Karkovice. Kurt Stillwell, Joe Hesketh, Glenn Allen Hill, and we finish it up with Brian Hunter. All right, now moving on to 93 Fleer Ultra. Can't say I know that there's any good rookies in this. I doubt it. Uh, but looking for Hall of Famers and stars and whatnot. Any inserts? I don't know if there's any inserts in this. Um, but there's some limited edition Eckersley cards. So there's that. Whatever that's worth. Um, all right, Stan Belinda, Pedro Estacio. Then we got this cool top gloves, Ivan Rodriguez um, card. I, I don't know. I think that's an insert. Hall of Famer, too. Paul Asimacher, Steve Avery, Craig Biggio, Hall of Famer, Andy Benez, uh, Sid Fernandez, Rod Beck. Sandy Alomar Jr. again. Tim Belcher. I think that's the third or fourth time I've seen his name. Wilson Alvarez. Uh, Chad Curtis. Bernard Gilkey. All right. And finally, we got the Upper Deck 94 Eastern Region Series 2. So I don't know specifically what that means, but I feel like that this isn't the good one to have. I feel like the the Midwest Region is the good one because that's got the, the Michael Jordan in it. But I could be wrong. Not 100% sure. Um, these might stick together. They might not. Um, yeah, sort of sticking together. Yeah, a little bit. All right, so we start off with a Jermaine Allensworth top prospects. Then we got a Diamonds debuts of Hector Carrasco. Uh, then we got home field advantage, Frank Thomas. He's a Hall of Famer. Then we got Electric Diamond, Carl Rhodes. Uh, Tony, uh, sorry, Troy Neal, uh, Eric Hansen, Jeff Blauser, Mitch Williams, Jack McDowell, Steve Farr, uh, Dave Hollins, and ooh, Randy Johnson, Hall of Famer. So there we go. So not the best out of the packs, but uh, you know, it's always just fun to go back and look through these old sets and open old packs like. Like it was yesteryear, back when my childhood and stuff. But we're finishing things off with the good stuff. The goods, as it were. Um, no gold envelope, unfortunately, so that's fine. But, they, you know, they at least emailed everyone and let, let them know. And at least they wrote the thing in gold. That's that's a nice little touch. But uh, just a regular old envelope, that's fine. Doesn't change what's inside, does it? I don't think. Shouldn't. Um, but, yeah, let's see what we got. We got a Barry Larkin 87 Tops rookie card. So that's a card. I'm sure I have like 15 of these, but cool. Cool. And then we got the autograph. Who could it be? It is Edgar Martinez from Donner's Optic Significant Signatures from 2016. Okay. Edgar Martinez. He's a Hall of Famer for sure, and that's an autograph, so that counts. <laughs> it checks the boxes. Um, yeah, Optic. I don't know. I don't know too much about Optic. I don't know if this is anything special or, or not, but um, it's Edgar, Hall of Famer. So there you go. I'm Barry Larkin. That's that's his rookie card from 87. I forgot to even mention him when we were going through the 87 <laughs> tops back, but there he is. He's a Hall of Famer. And that's his rookie card. So... There we go. Wait, was this in the regular set? Yeah, this was. I was for a second. I thought maybe it was untraded. Well, it's in the regular set. So there you go, people. That's gonna do it uh, for the April uh, 2020 Jam Packs box. 
Uh, we'll have to wait till March. Or sorry, March. You know, we're going to go back in time and then go to March. No, May. Even though I know it's May right now as these are airing. I recorded them in April. I swear to God I did. But um, yeah, I got a little bit behind and didn't record them until the very end of April. And then I had other stuff already ready to go. So um, I sell them out for Wild Card Saturday. So come back next week for Wild Card Saturday. I don't know what we'll be doing. Maybe a boombox. Maybe collectible card club. Maybe I'll have the next old school jam pack by then. Who knows? Uh, but come back next week for another Saturday wild card. Maybe we'll do something completely different. I don't know. Uh, but also check out all the other videos for my baseball, basketball, football, hockey card breaks. Still in 1994 right now, I believe. Should be. Um, and, you know, my Mondays are kicking off. They're, they're going strong. We're doing the Funko Pops. And, um, yeah, check out all the, all the other videos. Like them, share them, subscribe. All that fun stuff. Stay safe out there. Stay safe and be nice to everyone and stay safe and stay away from everyone, but be nice to them, but stay away from them. I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully everything's getting better um, as these are airing because I'm recording them a few weeks in advance. But uh, thank you everyone for watching and come back next time to the One Man Renegade Podcast YouTube channel. I've been your host, the Honorable Greg B, and we'll see you next time. Bye.